car is going through a dip in the road whose curvature approximates a circle of radius 175 meters. At what velocity will the occupants of the car appear to weigh 10% more than their normal weight? This means that our normal force Fn is equal to 1.1 mg. If we now draw a diagram for this situation, we'd be in a dip. Here would be our car shown here at the bottom of the dip and now we're going to label all the forces acting on our object. So we know that the normal force is directed upward, its weight is pulling it down, and we know that we have a net acceleration, our asymmetrical, directed upwards because we're at the bottom of our circular path. If we now write Newton's second law for this situation, we would have the net force is equal to ma centripetal. Here, we're considering the up direction to be positive. So fn is positive, a centripetal is positive, but mg, which is directed in the opposite direction, would be considered negative. If we now do the sum of the forces, we would have fn minus mg is equal to ma centripetal. If we now plug in for fn, which is telling us that we're 10% greater than our normal weight, so we're 1.1 times our weight. If we plug that in for Fn, we'd have point, we'd have 1.1 mg minus mg is equal to ma centripetal. If we now carry out the subtraction, we would have 0.1 mg is equal to ma centripetal. But 0.1 is simply the same as 1 over 10. So we can rewrite this as mg over 10 is equal to ma centripetal. Now, if we divide both sides by m, we would be left with uh, a centripetal is equal to g over 10, but we remember that a centripetal is equal to v squared over r as well. Now the question is, at what velocity will the occupants of the car appear to weigh 10% more? So we're trying to solve for v. So the first thing we're going to do is multiply both sides by r. This will give us v squared is equal to gr over 10. And now to solve for v alone, we have to take the square root of both sides, leaving us with v is equal to the square root of gr divided by 10. If we now plug in our given values here, we would find that our velocity would be, so g is 9.8 meters per second squared. The radius is 175 meters and we're dividing it by 10. If we now calculate this out, we would find that our velocity would be 13.1 meters per second, which would correspond to answer choice D. So the velocity for our car to appear to weigh 10% more than the normal weight of our object would be D, 13.1 meters per second.